Do you guys have a uh, a bit that you did when you first started out that you uh, are embarrassed that you did? Um, my first bit, I remember it was probably whack, and maybe I might have bit it off of somebody. I don't know, but I was because we were poor, and I was like, yeah, we were so poor. We had two TVs. You know how everybody have two TVs? But our TVs were in the living room, stacked on top of each other, and one was for picture, and one was for sound. And if my light-skinned sister held the antenna just right, we would get color. <laughs> that was my joke. It was so whack. That's pretty What funny. do you mean that's whack? That's fucking awesome. Yeah, I've Am always right? been awesome that's ever right. since I was 16. But Fuck this shit. I'm the best. I'm the Beyonce of this shit. But what's this? Ent- what's that? I just need somebody famous to pass. What's that intent? You mean your shit dad booked your gigs for you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know and my fired dad. Fired all the other comics on the show. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which Beyonce are we talking? You I'm have fucking... a mediocre sister that's trying to do comedy? I, no, no, none of my no, my sisters aren't mediocre. They're some bad bitches. I guess maybe. Maybe I'm the Nicki Minaj. Maybe fuck that. I'm the Kim Kardashian. No, I don't. I didn't do it. No. Sex no, I don't know. I'm just a bad bitch of comedy. You're the fuck Tiffany that. Haddish of comedy. Yeah, You're fucking. Yeah, I'm great. the Tiffany Haddish of comedy, and I've always been good. <laughs> and I'm the <laughs> Tiffany Haddish of slam poetry. So. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? <laughs> what if we all just sit up? I'm <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. No, I'm <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. And I'll be like, I told you I was white. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please book me for video games. I need this. Um, what was your experience? Oh, my God. Uh, three weeks in, because uh, I did do slam poetry for seven years while what? working at McDonald's. <laughs> I know it's weird. I'm judging people. Um, but I yeah. did, and then I started comedy. My third week of comedy, I got my first book gig. This was in Florida, and it was at a lesbian bar. Oh. And I had, I literally just had seven minutes of material, and my closer was about a breast cancer and it was a joke about how how awesome it would be if there was a breast cancer porno and one of the lines with it was what should i take off first my hair or my top uh another line it was and i did it was a That's whole trailer funny. thing it was like and pat marita as dr kimo sabi um and he had died the week before so i just went in memoriam um that's hilarious but, but the 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 whole the whole thing was like the worst, and someone threw a beer bottle at me while I was doing it. Um, I don't, I don't remember some angry man with his lesbian girlfriend. Um, no. <laughs> lady some, dude. some. I, I, I don't, I don't exactly remember what the lesbian who threw the beer bottle at me looked like, but I think it was like one of those bricks that falls on you in Mario Brothers with the face, the thwomps. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, I, but you know what? That was the greatest moment. Uh, that was the moment I knew I'd be doing comedy forever because I'd spent so many years just wanting attention, and I finally got it Mm -hmm. at a lesbian bar and and you know and it was great was i stayed and this is another one of my five you know uh pieces of advice to pass on to comics i stayed the rest of the night i went second the worst bomb you could possibly have i watched every other comic and saw what worked and i mean so many comics now are entitled and you know shitty and arrogant and i mean we always have been but like people will bomb Mm -hmm. after their second week of doing comedy and leave right afterwards stick around watch someone will always have a good set even on the worst night and you kind of if you can't like once you're not a good comic on a show be a good audience member be something yeah <laughs> right in your first few years i think that's important it's yeah. important to watch comedy because you'll learn so much about timing and presence and yeah and a good way to perform and a bad way to perform and, and even to... even if you see something kill that you despise mm-hmm. then learn about what you don't want to do exactly. as a yes. comic yeah it was crazy when i got the job here in uh 2007 and I worked here for three or four years at the door. And uh, I would watch. You know, you're getting paid, basically, to hang out and get to watch a show from the back of the room. You're seating the room. You're making sh- – sometimes I was just making sure that people were 21 and that nobody was heckling. And you get to see 16 paid regulars do, you know, 15 minutes a night. And they're all sort of, you know, competing and fucking – I mean, it's not a competition, but everybody wants to be the one that they remember the most. Mm-hmm. So and and all new that. comics have is each other. I hope that, like right. – yeah. I hope that like two of the comics we talked to tonight like go up to each other and meet each other and introduce each other. Right. And, you know. Yeah. There's no better feeling on in this show than uh, having somebody come up to me a few weeks later and be like, "Hey, that thing, that one thing," and I won't remember it first. And then I'm like, "Oh shit!" And then you know, 
but uh, when they get stuff working and it all comes together. Remember, the more awesome. helpful we are, the less funny we are. So. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> you're going to learn today. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to learn today. All right. Fuck. You guys both have funny uh, first bits. Yeah. The TV on the TV and the, the breast cancer. Thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say they had to uh, scissor away some tissue. <laughs> oh, that would have been worse. <laughs> <laughs>